The next thing I like to touch on is the actual airflow in a booth. There's uh, two different styles of airflow or measurements of airflow that get confused quite a bit. Um, I very frequently get asked, what's the CFM of our paint booths? So CFM is actually something that's federally regulated. So a paint booth is called a class one division one area in the NFPA code. And that means an area where you're atomizing a flattable substance, which paint is a flammable substance. So in that class one division one area, we're required to maintain a certain CFM um, for safety. And this is across all paint booth brands. Uh, they have to meet those regulations. They have to prove it for their booths to be listed. Um, so this is not something you really have to worry about in your booth. There's no concern in measuring it. The thing we want to focus on is FPM and that's feet per minute. This is the measurement that's going to affect a lot of things around your paint jobs. Um, Again, if we take all of the different paint lines and mix them all together, we're going to see an average in the tech sheets of uh, paint companies are going to want to see roughly 80 to 120 feet per minute. It could vary a little bit beyond that, but that's kind of the average. So if our airspeed is a little bit too low, we'll typically see issues on the base coat side, uh, especially heavy metallics and pearls. That stuff will kind of hang in the air a little bit too much and settle back on the panel. So you can get kind of dirtier looking paint jobs. Um, your your pearls might not have the same vibrance as they do if you're spraying with proper airspeed. And then if our airspeed gets too high, typically we'll see issues on the clear coat side. Your base coat will most of the time look just fine, but that high airspeed will actually cause our clear coat to skim over on the top, which can trap solvents underneath. And as those start to come out, the paint defect that we'll see is typically micro pop, in extreme cases, solvent pop, and then most commonly we see dieback. So that's something we're gonna have to polish later. So we always wanna be looking at our feet per minute, especially if there's a paint issue, um, and especially on the clear coat side, that's where it'll show up the most. And again, it's if that airspeed is a little bit too high. So an easy correlation for this is think of a garden hose. When you open the spigot and the water starts to come out of the hose, that's your CFM, the amount of water coming out. Now the FPM would be like putting your thumb over that hose. So the more you cover with your thumb, the faster that that water is gonna come out of there. That's the same thing that's happening in your booth. If your booth is empty, the FPM is gonna be on the lower side. But as we start to fill that up with the vehicle and parts, that feed per minute is gonna move faster and faster.